From avoiding a government shutdown to passing another coronavirus relief package, Hawaii Senator Maisie Hirono has been working hard on Capitol Hill, and she joins us this morning to discuss these hot topics. Good morning, Senator. How are you doing this morning? Good morning, Ross. We're just working hard to get to particularly two things passed. One, to avoid a government shutdown, very critical, and then to pass an emergency COVID bill. Let's talk about that government shutdown because the deadline is fast approaching on December 11th. How confident are you that a spending bill will get passed? Right now, the spending bill it looks to be on track and uh, it should take us to, through September. So that is a good thing. Uh, and, uh, it, you know, nobody wants to have a government shutdown at a time when so many people are already suffering. And so that at least, uh, I, I believe, is on track. But you never know what the president's going to do because he could veto the bill. I hope not. Let's not give the man any further dangerous ideas. The second one is uh, the emergency COVID relief bill. And this is the first time, really, uh, in about five months since the House passed the, the HEROES Act that Republicans have come to the table to negotiate with Democrats in good faith. And that is why there is a bipartisan bill. We do need to convince Mitch McConnell and 12 Republicans to support this emergency relief bill that will provide more money for unemployment insurance benefits and very important uh, money for state and county governments and education and a whole array of other funding needs. Now you talk about this bipartisan group of lawmakers from both the House and Senate who introduced this $908 billion coronavirus relief package. How confident are you that something will get done? As I said, if 12 Republicans say that they will support this bipartisan bill, we at least have four of the Republican senators who were part of the bipartisan group, then we need to convince Mitch McConnell to bring the a bill to the floor. But we, we know everyone has to recognize with the increasing number of people testing positive and increasing number of people dying, especially during the holiday season, 11 million out of work, including, of course, the, the economic uh, uh, challenges and suffering in Hawaii, you would think that all of us would recognize the need for an emergency relief bill. This particular bipartisan bill will take us uh, two or three months, three or four months down the road. So we know that we need to do more with the new administration to get our economy back on track and to get this pandemic under control. And I am uh, confident that Joe Biden will do everything he can to get us to that point. And speaking of President-elect Joe Biden, what's been your biggest impression so far with his new team? First of all, he is taking responsibility for getting this pandemic under control, that uh, there should be a national testing program, a national uh, standards, all of that, which we have not had from President Trump for the, since the beginning of this pandemic. So that's very important. And also what he's doing is putting it in place. First of all, he has this pandemic uh, COVID team that has hit the ground running. And uh, the, the other nominees are people who have experience, who know how uh, government should run to help people, as opposed to putting in place cronies, yes men, friends, family members. So what is really important for Joe Biden and what's being shown is the diversity of his uh, cabinet picks and more to come, uh, but with very competent, committed people who are going to look to you know how can we help the our workers our union members our small businesses uh with the right priorities and senator finally what's your message to hawaii, hawaii residents because we've been struggling a lot during this 2020 year like many people but what's your final message as we end 2020 on this holiday season that we have a chance to get this pandemic un under control with a new administration. It is still going to require cooperation from all of us. While a, a vaccine is coming, but everyone is not gonna be vaccinated, we're still gonna need to take individual responsibility to wear our face masks, uh, to do social distancing, because the expectation is during this holiday season, there will be an increased number of people testing positive. And uh, I hope that that doesn't happen in, uh, in Hawaii and we can help prevent that by taking responsibility.
going forward. All right, thank you very much, Senator Hirono, and have a happy holidays. You too, everyone stay safe, be kind. All right, for now, let's send it over to Kelly.